Hey everybody, um, this is going to be my last video on this whole project because today I, uh, I finished it. <laughs> and I'm actually going to put the camera on a, a standstill. That way you can um, kind of get a feel for how it's supposed to work and everything. Um, I haven't got it placed where I want it, but that's not important. What's important is, is that everything is working as it should. Um, as far as the arcade um, is concerned. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to reach down here, hit the button to the computer to power on. It's going to turn everything on for me. <clears throat> and in just a second you'll see the startup screen. There it is. Again, I'm using a Pentium 4 processor, 1.2 gigabytes of RAM with a regular PCI uh, video card, a 128 meg video card, it's nothing special. Super video into a $40 TV I got at a thrift store. Um, and now it's starting up. Everything is going as planned. <sighs> Custom control panel. Um, you've seen in my earlier videos. I got it all put in now. And there's the video. Again, if, there are any, if there's any black lines that show up on the video screen, that's just because this camera is crappy and it picks up that kind of stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to step over here and show you. There's a, this was main, mobile arcade machine emulator. It basically plays all the um, uh, arcade games. <clears throat> Windows Media Player. Um, you can play your music on it, you can play DVDs. Um, Pretty much anything. You have right codecs installed. KLI codec pack, most. Uh, you got the MP3 jukebox, which is kind of cool. Um, showed you that already. Uh, Sega Genesis, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, <laughs> Super Nintendo, and old school Nintendo. And we're back to where we were. Now I could put a lot more emulators on this, such as Atari. Um, TurboGrafx-16, um, you name it. Any system that had come out ever, I can put on here. I just haven't got that far yet. That's not really important. What I wanted to show you guys was basically that everything's working. So, um, page down, and show you guys Everything's on here working as it should. All the games. I don't have the images on here just yet. If you're wondering, I'm <coughs> working on that. Um, it will happen eventually. I'm not really worried about it. Everything's working as it should. Um, this is something pretty cool. Let's see. I don't remember this game. Um, Simpsons. Oh wait. I'm sorry you guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Booting up now. <laughs> this is one of over 3,000 games. Uh, not counting the, the console games. The console games are probably going to have 3,000 at least. 
so total I probably got probably about 8,000 games on here right now, not counting the Atari ones and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to hit the credit button. Get a couple credits on there and then of course, this is player one, so yeah, I have to use March, but whatever. Oh my god, they took Maggie. And of course, my buttons, they all work. Jump, pack. Yeah, as you can see, it's working. <laughs> I can even throw in a second player. Hey, look, it's Homer. Homer and Marge. Running around. Playing the second player. So yeah, as you can see, everything is working. I can exit by hitting that button up there. Um, sometimes it doesn't exit, but that's okay. You hit that button there, and it basically just goes back to where you were. This button is that one. <clears throat> things are back to the main menu. And we can just pick. Um, I'd like to show you some of these other ones on here, um, but I haven't quite gotten to the stage where I set up these emulators just yet. It's really easy to do. You just go into the emulator and set up the options and map your keys up. It takes like two seconds, but I haven't gotten around to it just yet. <clears throat> but yeah, there we go. That's what we got. Um, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm actually pretty humbled by it. Um, it cost me about $400 to do this completely. Um, it might cost you less. Um, I did need to buy some tools to do things. Um, uh, but you know, if you have a lot of tools and um, stuff, it should it should cost you way under 400. It cost me about anywhere between four and 500, I should say, if you count the gas money it took to go get all this stuff and you know this speaker and this receiver. And I had these laying around. I mean, <clears throat> the sky's really the limit with this, guys. Um, it's it's not hard to do. I mean, here I'll even show you real quick if I can. Um, this looks daunting as hell. <laughs> I can understand that. You're probably looking at this at home going, are you kidding me? But really, it's all self-explanatory. Ultimark sells the iPad too. That is the iPad, by the way. It's got the light. Basically, that just emulates a keyboard. And all these wires are, are relay switches. These are the relay switches here that basically ground out the switches on here that tell this, you know, when you push your button. It's it's simple, simple, simple. And anybody with a half a brain can do this. A little bit of research. And of course I got it on my website. So uh, thanks for watching. Sixth and final video. Um, it's been great. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.